Hi everybody, good morning. I just installed three capacitors to the battery bank and they're one farad each at 12 volts. Uh, I, I hooked them up together parallel so I have a three farad capacitor bank. They're connected by that angle iron or galvanized piece of metal. It looks like this. And they're connected together through their top bolts. And the positive side is a four gauge cable comes to this breaker. It's a 300 amp 12 volt breaker. And then from the breaker goes to the positive of the battery that feeds the inverter through the switch and goes to the positive of the inverter. The negative side, again it's a 4 gauge cable, comes to the negative side of the battery bank that feeds the negative side of the inverter. Uh, I decided to put it as close as possible to the surge that causes by the load on the inverter so I will have better response from capacitors to stabilize and help the battery voltage. Right now it's off. What I did, I partially drained them, discharged them, and I'm going to show you how to charge them before you install it or connect it to your battery bank to avoid damage to them. I'm going to pause the video and connect my meter and the amp meter and discharge them and charge them again for you guys. Right now they're off. The breaker is off and they're not getting any voltage. The positive side is disconnected but negative side is connected but it's off the loop at this time. Be right back. Okay, I uh, hooked up my voltmeter. It's reading the voltage in the capacitors. It's like 9 millivolts. I connected the negative side to the negative of the battery and the positive side of the voltmeter I don't know if you can see it right there to the positive rail of the capacitors and also I have the amp meter connected to the positive side of the capacitor pack what I did, I used the automotive test light that is right now connected to negative side of the batteries and I'm going to use it to discharge the remaining voltage in the capacitors. So bear with me guys, I'm doing it with one hand here. Here, here's the test slides other end right there I'm gonna connect it to the positive side of the capacitor in the meantime you watch the the meters here we go as you can see the voltage is dropping and there is a little 
um, activity there. You're at one millivolt right now. Now zero. So we are totally discharged the batteries, the capacitors. I'm gonna reverse the circuit on the test light and start charging the capacitors. Okay, you got zero voltage in the capacitor bank and zero amps. Um, I connected the test light to the positive side of the batteries and I'm going to connect the other end to the positive of the capacitor bank. Sorry about that, I'm trying to get everything in the picture. Here we go. You'll see as soon as I connect the positive of the test light to the positive side of the capacitors, the test light will glow and the voltage will start going up and we may see some amperage because of the test light. Here we go. You can see the voltage start going up and there is some activity there on the amp side like 0.2 amps that's what the test light is drawing. Now we're up to 3 volts, 0.2 amps, and test light is bright. As, as soon as the capacitors start charging, fully charged, that glow will get reduced. The reason for you to do this is to prevent sudden voltage and amperage going to the capacitors. It may damage them and shorten their life. By using the test light, or if it's a ballast resistor, it gradually charge the capacitor so they won't get damaged. What I'm going to do, I'm going to disconnect it. I want to check the temperature on the capacitors. Okay. Okay, the ambient temperature right now is about 60 degrees. And I'm going to use the infrared temperature reader check the temperature on the capacitors. 58. About 61 and a half. So about a degree or two they warmed up. Okay. You see, see how how dim the light went, and we're at 11 volts, and the amperage dropped too. And still charging. This is like slow charging your battery. You helping it to absorb more charge. And the breaker is still off, so. The battery voltage right now is at 
13.4 and the capacitor voltage is 12.9 and there's any barely light coming from the test light we're at 13 volts and very little amp draw 0 0.0 Four, three. We're at thirteen point three volts. Battery boundaries, 13.4 still, <laughs> and the capacitors are charged to 37 going to disconnect the feed from the test light from the positive side of the batteries to the capacitors and turn on the breaker. Let's see what happens. Okay, here we go. The element in the dryer came on. That's why we see the voltage drop at 13.3. It's the same at the battery bank. And that there's an activity there is constantly charging and discharging the capacitors is a pulsation there. Okay folks, thanks for watching and enjoy. Have a good one. Bye.